We're here at ATP Gallery where New York-based artists Fina Young and Naomi Kuo have juxtaposed their photographic and mixed media works respectively to explore a common theme of urban environments and how one finds their place in them. The show's title is called Building Stories. So it is about our living spaces, uh, our living environment, and the architectural scenes in the city that we are living. But it's not just New York City, but also Hong Kong where I born. Fina Young, who has been involved in the Brooklyn art scene since 2012, is presenting a series of black and white photographs taken in 2008 and 2013 when she returned to her home city in Hong Kong. Her photos reveal the architectural landscapes of her personal experiences and memories from when she lived there. When I'm taking photographs, I went back to the neighborhoods. I grew up with like my, the buildings I was like, growing up there and the schools and my friends you know where they live. And so I guess I'm trying to bring like my personal stories like of uh, my relationship with Hong Kong. I guess I'm searching also like a feeling of home, like belonging in Hong Kong. Naomi Kuo moved to New York City from Houston, Texas, straight out of college in 2013, and is an artist in residence with Transform. Her mixed media works, which are based on the architecture she observed in Long Island City and Astoria, Queens, subtract certain elements of clutter in a way that allows the viewer to see the architecture for what it is. I think I choose my imagery because um, I grew up in the suburbs of Houston, and so I come to New York and I'm like, wow, there's so much history, so many groups of people that have lived here, and I think I'm trying to find, um, I think where I fit in the whole history of the place as well, just remaining curious and remaining present in where I am now. Most recently, she has chosen Manhattan's Chinatown as the new subject of her works. I wanted to um, explore Asian American identity and kind of see what people's stories are. I think when people go to Chinatown, the first thing they think of is, oh, it's so crowded, or like, look at all the produce they sell on the streets. Um, but in my drawings, I'm starting to take those away, and I'm still just looking at the buildings. And you kind of find that it's the same Lower East Side apartments, and um, it's just interesting to see how different people will make the same buildings their home and what they'll kind of add and subtract to that. Fina and Naomi crossed paths through their involvement in the New York City arts community and found that the similarities and contrast between their work made them a great pairing. Where Fina's work is strictly photographic and rather dark, it is offset in a positive way by Naomi's more colorful representations of her urban environment. I always think that my work is a bit dark, but when I'm working with Naomi, I actually feel that through talking, she helped me to lighten up. Not only myself, but when I see my work now, I kind of feel like, oh, it's a bit lighter, it's not that dark. I think I want to encourage people to be present where they live as well. Um, I think in the city there are certain spots that are more glamorous or attractive and people will kind of treat their home as just something they go back to. I want them to see that every building, every wall has a story. Yeah. So, building Stories will be on view at All Things Project through June 27th.